Donald Trump is a criminal defendant, but he is also very much a political candidate, and he is currently pushing one of his favorite political tropes, Donald Trump the populist. Last night, we learned that Mr. Trump is planning to skip the second Republican debate next week and will instead hold a rally in Detroit to court striking auto workers. This is not a new gambit. In 2016, Trump, who, as a reminder, has always been an ultra-wealthy coastal elite, Trump rebranded himself as a champion of blue-collar union workers, helping him win support in key swing states like Michigan and Ohio, those union workers did. Here, he was at a campaign rally in Michigan in 2016. I've been talking about Michigan for a long time. We can't let them take your car industry out or your industry out of your state any longer. Not going to happen. And so now Trump wants to run that play again. He wants to show the union workers that he is their man. Except President Trump spent four years in office distinguishing himself as the most anti-union president of the last three decades. He appointed Eugene Scalia, one of the nation's top anti-union lawyers, to be his secretary of labor. Under Trump's administration, the National Labor Relations Board implemented sweeping new rules that make it, made it harder for workers to form unions, rules, by the way, that Joe Biden reversed when he took office. Trump packed the courts with anti-labor judges, people like Thomas Farr, who spent his career bringing cases before the courts to weaken unions. President Trump made it harder for workers to earn overtime, and he gutted the federal agency in charge of workplace safety. Now, by contrast, President Biden has pushed a decidedly pro-labor agenda since taking office. He has voiced support for striking auto workers' demands. He has met with workers unionizing big businesses, including Amazon and Starbucks. And even as Republicans to continue to balk President Biden's pro-union candidate for secretary of labor, the Biden administration has been able to dramatically expand union rights through his appointees at the National Labor Relations Board. But now, looking for an opening with a key demographic in key swing states, the Trump team is trying to use Biden's push for things like electric vehicles to drive a wedge between Biden and the unions that have supported him. Is it going to work? All we know is that this strike could end up deciding a lot. Joe Biden won Michigan by less than three percentage points. He won Pennsylvania by just over a single point.